Six, welcome back. The ninth annual Alley Cat Art Walk is coming up, and Sophie's Gallery is joining in. Allie Wagner is at Sophie's Gallery in downtown El Cajon for details. Hey, Allie. Good morning, Allie. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, we've been hanging out here at Sophie's Gallery. It's part of St. Madeline Sophie Center. And I have Deborah, who is here. So tell me a little bit. First of all, you have all these beautiful cats on the wall. <laughs> and this is incredible because they are for sale. But mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about why this is a big deal and why this is so important for your students and the work that you guys are doing at St. Madeline Sophie Center. I think it's very important for our students because they get re recognized for their abilities, not their disabilities, and they're part of the community. And the community community artists. So I think that is the big message here that people with disabilities are have abilities and a lot of these masks are done on other art here at the gallery. And it's one of their dreams to be an artist. And you know we have eight galleries down here and we're all participating. It's great energy and I'm just very excited. It's our ninth and we've been here 20 years. Yeah. So it's something to celebrate I think. Yeah and tell me a little bit about how this all started because this started because you guys said <laughs> Oh, hey, wait a minute. We're a gallery down here, and we need to get everybody together. Um, we started about, you know, like uh, Lynn said, about 15 years ago. We were just standing in the gallery alley, and we said we should start painting things. And we first, one of the first things we painted were dumpsters. So we had to get permission from uh, waste management. They took them, they coated them, and we did different cats on the dumpsters. And then we painted a lot of things down the alley and mm -hmm. did some different murals. And so the community art was... The, I think the city and the downtown district were helping participate there and it's starting to come back now so we're working with the city and the district murals. Yeah, to do mur more murals and that's why if you come in to Sophie's Gallery and buy one of these cats is going to help for the murals. Right. Yeah. That, and last year all the money is just going to go to the murals. At the end of the street we're getting ready to do a mural. We couldn't get it up before the event yeah. so we're hoping to get it up later. Yeah, and this is going to include not only your wonderful artists, artists but right. a lot of artists. In fact, we have a bunch of them here and Lynn, tell me a little bit about why you wanted to get involved in this and why this is so close to you and why you wanted to just say okay let's do this. Well Deborah and I have been friends for many years and she and I got together 15 years ago and decided that we needed a partnership with doing some kind of art um, walk art galleries. We were both the new galleries on the block and from there now it's evolved into there's eight of us in a little half a block, a couple on Rea and six of us over on Main Street, all very close and it, we just expanded it from the two of us and to some of the businesses in the alley here in on Main Street and Rea into a really bigger art walk. And we've, like I said, we've got eight of us as galleries, studios, there's a museum, the Olaf Wiggers Museum and so these are some of the representatives Presentations of some of the artists that I have, from a gourd artist to a hummingbird painter to the woman that does these wonderful jellyfish, and we just are very happy to have you come and join us because we've got some great fun and we've had lots of exciting things going on so please come and join us okay so uh friday at it's five to eight five friday to eight. Okay. but you can come early yes five to eight okay and i want to say hi to some of our other artists over here and tell me a little bit tell me your name again carlos castrejon and you guys are going to have a big painting tell me tell me why this right. is so important for el cajon well it is important to bring the community together you know and as um, art, I think, is pretty much out of our um, school, so this is a good way to introduce it. Yeah. And so opening the doors for any gallery or open, um, inviting artists to do an art exhibition in, in the studio is very important for me to do. And so it brings the community together and it brings artists together and it just, you know, makes, makes things beautiful and, yeah. and better for the, for, the, for the city and for the town. So we're very excited that this Alley Cat continues to survive even though there's, you know, struggle. But um, Deborah has done an excellent job. But yeah keeping us all together, working so, hard. So. so fantastic. And, oh, my gosh, you've been doing such beautiful artwork Thank this you. morning. Tell me tell me your name again. Uh, my name is Brad Caston, and I'm a fluid artist. And this will be my first year at the Ellicott uh, Festival, which I'm very excited about. And uh, I'll be having paintings here. I'll be doing a lot of painting demonstrations uh, during the show. And uh, I teach paint point classes as well. So uh, you could come on down, watch some 
paintings and uh, check out everything else in the event. It should be a great time. Oh, it's going to be so fantastic. And tell me, tell me your name. I'm Laura. Laura, Laura Lehman. Yeah, and our, tell me a little bit about wh how you're involved in all of this and, and why this is so important. I'm an artist and I know Carlos and have known him for years. Yeah. And he's a wonderful supporter of arts and artists and he's very inspirational so I like to work with him yeah. in El Cajon and put art out so that people can look at it and maybe get a little taste of something beautiful. That's so amazing. That's what it's all about, you guys. So going on on Friday here in El Cajon, but you can come stop by Sophie's Gallery anytime and check out the great work that they're doing here. Back over to you guys.